same reason as everyone else, a better career. What I did not realize was how much I missed academic life. Oh, I know I'll never lose affection for people like things have met before. I know I saw things about them in my life. I love you more in my life. I love you I didn't bring any pizza. Your thoughts as you're about to head into uh, commencement? It's been a good four years and it's all come to an end, but I don't have any other way. Uh, I want to first start off and ask the audience a question. Would everybody please raise their hand if they think they are more nervous than I am? <laughs> I never once thought I'd be standing here today speaking at graduation under the same basket in which I've missed so many layers and three corners of my history. It's unbelievable. Now I knew he would be a student's president when we first met, but it was confirmed when at this year's food symposium, he told the keynote, keynote speaker, Mr. Will Allen, I can't let you leave here without any women's in college swag, as he handed him a dusty t-shirt. <laughs> Our president says swag in his vocabulary and in the correct context. I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Now it's my esteemed honor to introduce our 18th president and swagged out friend, <laughs> James M. Reynolds. Let me begin by welcoming all of you to this, our 137th commencement exercise. We are honored by your presence and we're grateful to be able to join with you to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2013. At commencement ceremonies at most colleges and universities, we typically have speakers that don't have a personal connection to the institution. They stand and offer some words of encouragement to the graduates. Sometimes those speeches are memorable, but I can tell you from experience that most are not. Even as I was preparing what I was going to say today, in the back of my mind I kept hearing the voice of a good friend who has told me on recent occasions that no one will remember what you say a week from now so it's best to keep it short. At this ceremony, what we are gathered for today is first and foremost about our students. We wanted you to know that this experience was more about just earning a degree. It's also about building enduring relationships and learning about the meaning of service to others. That the very best of what we do here at Wilmington College is represented in our students. They are smart and in many ways wise. They're caring and humane, and they will make a difference in this world as they leave here. So, for me, a ceremony like this one has to be about them. So, no long speeches from strangers today. We're gathered here this morning as a community to bear witness to the inspiring things that our students have done and will do in the future. I'm going to stipulate that it's probably true that you won't remember what was said here today. And I'll tell you I'm comfortable with that. But what I hope that you'll remember as you go into the future is how you felt here today. You'll always be a part of this family. Always. And just like any caring parent or guardian, I want you to know that we'll continue to do our best for you. And those students next fall will fill the classroom seats you vacated and we'll teach them the way we taught you. And I want you to come home as often as you can. But I'll conclude by saying thanks to each of you. 
I'm thankful for what you've given to the college during your time here. And I speak for all the faculty and staff of the college and say thanks for giving us the opportunity to know you and to be a small part of your exceptional lives. Congratulations to you all, class of 2000. When it comes to the future, to setting goals, and to striving towards greater things, two distinct characters stand out in my mind. Buzz and Woody, the heroes of Toy Story. What better example of true friends, of role models, and of dreamers? Disney movies often mold our childhood, or our adult life in some instances, by always managing to teach us that one important lesson while thoroughly entertaining us. Enrollment to college is much like a Disney movie. It's one that continuously plays, continuously shapes our lives, and has many, many bloopers, as I'm sure you all would agree. Wilmington College has prepared us all for so much in our future. As we continue to soar forward, we must set a new goal and dream a new dream. Some of us may get a graduate degree, go to art school, travel the world, get the dream job, or start a family. But all of us should strive to make a difference. Strive to be happy and to never miss a moment of our lives. There's a lot of growing up still to do. And in real life, unlike Toy Story, you can't press pause and you can't press rewind. So enjoy the moment. So today we accomplish the dream of graduating college. Tomorrow we will look towards a new dream. Never be complacent in your aspirations. Never give up, take a back seat, or leave your toys on the shelf. And while some dreams may be silly, like living your life as a musical, that doesn't mean you shouldn't dream it, that you shouldn't dance to the music or sing your own song. Live your dreams the way you envision them, and never let anyone tell you they aren't worthwhile. Reach for the sky, look to infinity and beyond, and never let anyone tell you you can't fly. For some, we take a different path to this day. We are referred to as non-traditional students. My granddaughter's up there somewhere. <laughs> Hi, Bianca. No more excuses. I decided I was no longer going to be a player in this game of life. I was going to create opportunities for myself and not wait for them to come along. I was going to be a player in this game get back on course. I started classes at Wilmington College, Cincinnati Branch, in January 2010. Each person encountered along the way was always happy to see me and willing to do whatever was necessary for me to accomplish my goal. Each one of us has a story to share about our journey to this day. I hope my story has inspired someone else to take the next step in his or her life. Do something new, something uncomfortable that challenges you. Find a better way and gain more knowledge through continued education. Education is the key to a healthy and happy lifestyle. That's it. <laughs>
signal and symbolize the conferral of your degrees. Please move the tassel on your board. Congratulations. 